In a recent video, I was started off talking about this game Portal and ended up talking about this other game called The Outer Wilds, and I thought it would be a really good idea to have me jump from Portal to The Outer Wilds like this. That was cool, wasn't it? Lots of people seemed to like it, so I thought I'd give a quick tutorial on how to do that, starring Jean-Claude Van Damme. <laughs> The effect I used is called rotoscoping. Rotoscoping can be used in many video editors and it's kind of like, and it's kind of like, um, rotoscoping is like the green screen effect or what's called chroma key. So you probably know the green screen. What happens is you, uh, you delete the green and put in another video underneath. And you're basically punching a hole on the top video to let the video underneath show through. And rotoscoping is exactly the same thing but it's done manually, so it, there's no green screen. You have to punch in what you want to cut out and what you want to leave all by yourself. And we're going to do this with Kden Live, which is the best free video editor. So get your two clips lined up where you want the break to be. Make sure they overlap a little bit so you can see one underneath the other. Um, and then you're going to add in the rotoscope effect. Just click where it says Alpha Transform. <laughs> Then left click to add points and right click to close the loop. Um, then you'll see that it looks weird because we've actually put the wrong game over the wrong game. So you hit invert and invert will switch it around. Um, then you can use these little other dots to uh, in Kden Live to make it more nice and round and smooth. And once you've done all that, you can see that it works in this frame, but in it just stays just like that when you get closer. So you will need to add a frame at the end. Then Caden will live will try to gradually go from one from the beginning frame to the end frame, but it's not going to be perfect. So you need to go in there and add in keyframes where it's looking wonky. So basically look for the point where it looks the worst and fix that. And then just keep doing that a bunch of times until everything looks nice. You'll need to use feathering to, um, Feathering will blur the edge of it a little bit so it's not so sharp and it'll, it should blend in with the edges of the portal. Um, and then you're done. Just keep adding keyframes in and this is what it looks like when you've, I've added about 20 keyframes. It looks good and that's the way it worked in the final project, which you can see in here. Great job. The editing is actually quite easy. It's not that hard. It takes a little bit of time. The thing that takes the most time and is the hardest is actually getting two shots that work well together. You have to, in my case, I had to, you know, do things like disable HUDs and crosshairs and make sure that not only movement but camera angle and position matched up between both shots. It, there needs to be really good to make the make a convincing effect and uh, sound really helps too. So yeah, that was it. Thanks. If you want to see more like this. Not on your life. Yeah, I don't know. Do whatever you, uh, whatever you want to do. Yeah.